Welcome to LDSBookReviews.com. My name is Ryan Daly, and today we have an exciting one. It's actually from Oxford Press. It's the Foundational Texts of Mormonism, Examining Main Major Early Sources. Yes, it is as boring as it sounds, indeed. Okay, so let me give you a little bit of a few caveats here on this. First of all, I did get this book for free. It was sent to me by uh, Oxford Press, and I believe probably one of the authors or editors or someone uh, referenced this blog to them to have me do a review. I give you that caveat because, yes, I will read any book that's sent to me for free, and I will do a review. So if you want a book reviewed, send it to me, and I will read it. And that is not just because of the blog. That is because I love books, and I do that for everybody. Anyone who knows me who wants me to read a book, give it to me, and I will read it. Uh, I have a stack of books that I read through, uh, and I love books. So if you want to jump to the top of the pile, send me the book. So I appreciate the book. It'll go into my library. I do say that so you know it doesn't totally bias my uh, review of the book. The second caveat I got to say is I got to remind everybody as I review this book, my rating system. My rating system is this. If it is a five, it has nothing to do with the quality of the text as much as it has to do with it. I believe every Latter-day Saint should read that book and it will make them be a better Christian and Mormon. A four is it is the best book on the topic and is highly recommended for the topic itself. A three is it is good for the topic and it should be read if you are looking for something on that topic. A two is avoid it. It's not really good. If you're super, super desperate, go ahead and read it to fill your space. And a one is avoid at all context and content, right? Um, avoid it altogether. This one, I'm going to give it a three. And the reason why I'm going to give it a three and say it's good for the topic is because at times it is a four in some contexts. And for the most part, it's a two. So I'm kind of landing right there in the middle with a three. Let me tell you why. This book is, first let me tell you why this book is a four. This book has some phenomenal content in it, okay? It's got great scholars in it. It has, uh, it's going to review the foundational texts of Mormonism from the Golden Plates to the textual criticisms of the Book of Mormon. It's going to go through the Lucy Max Smith uh, autobiography, uh, do some textual criticisms of that, the history, the journals, uh, Navi journals of Joseph Smith, it's going to cover the sermons and how sermons interacted with early Mormon texts, uh, the diaries of Wilfred Woodruff, and a number of other kind of foundational texts of Mormonism that, that kind of helped Mormonism grow conceptually in the way we thought. And it's going to value those, those sources. One of my favorites is actually the JST. Uh, that's actually probably the best one in here uh, regarding the JST and how it came, came about. Um, so it's great uh, in that context. The reason why it's a two is because the content isn't relevant to Latter-day Saints for the most part. It's really honed down to <laughs> scholars. Like it gives great foundational dialogue that needs to happen on a scholarly basis. But even for the average Latter-day Saint, the topics are way over your head. So for most members of the church, there's really no reason to get the book and to go through it. Uh, you really have to assume a core foundation of scholarly understanding and research and have read a lot to even know that it's a relevant conversation to talk about the histories, the history of the church. Uh, to even know about Lucy Mack Smith's autobiography and the edits that took place and even care whether that happened or what the impact of that was. So there's a huge jump between the average Latter-day Saint and this content. Again, there's another element that I kind of challenge in having a book in and of itself do this, because as I read through these articles, I think these articles might have been better suited not to be compiled and sold uh, in on Barnes & Noble and on Amazon.com, but in more scholarly articles, right? So... So I don't really know where this book fits, and I think that's my challenge. It's great content, and it's good, but it's good for a very small, select uh, amount of academics. It's also topics that have already been discussed in a lot of those academics, and I, 
also feel like there's a few people like Richard Bushman who kind of phones his in, right? Like he doesn't really contribute much to the dialogue that takes place. Uh, there are those who add, I think, significant contributions in the way that sermons uh, played a part in early Protestant or in 18th, 19th century Protestantism and eventually LDS uh, thought. Um, I found the JST dialogue to be super interesting, how it kind of evolved even in the process of what Joseph Smith was trying to accomplish. I found that fascinating and interesting as well. Uh, but then there were a few that just I felt phoned it in because every good collection of essays needs to have something by Richard Bushman. So I feel like sometimes he kind of just throws something against the wall and nails it in. Um, but that's not a criticism of the rest of his work because it's fantastic. Uh, with that, that's why I kind of have a hard time recommending the book. Uh, for most people watching this, I'm going to say it's a two. For even the LDS scholars that go and kind of read everything and feel like they can go to High Priest or I guess now Elders Quorum and chit chat on theology, it's still a two. Uh, for those of you who are at the <laughs> BYU Ancient Scripture, this probably is a good resource for you, but I can't imagine this is going to be like a gangbusters bestseller. Uh, and that's why I settle on a three. Because it's going to be a four for a very small select group of people and academics. And it's going to be a two uh, for everyone else. And really a three for no one. So that's kind of where I'm settling in on this. Uh, again, I appreciate reading through it. I found value in it. But even though I found value in it and I really enjoyed a lot of the content, I realized that most of the audience is not going to find value in it. So again, I give it a three, somewhere between a two and a four, depending on who you are, for foundational texts of Mormonism, examining major early sources. Uh, dialogue that needs to happen. It's important for us to know and understand in some avenues where this context comes from, but this is really thick, really rough read if you don't have a lot of uh, undercurring context. So... Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Please uh, see the rest of my videos as well as ldsbookreviews.com for the write-up on all of this as well. And we've got some fun ones coming up, guys, uh, ones I'm really excited about. So let's get going. Thanks.